didn't start here. Trauma and violence in the African American community by Denise Hicks Ray. She writes, why a book on trauma in the African American community? I am an African American myself, one of very few brown faces at the meetings, lectures, and workshops I attend and lead. With such a disproportionate amount of violence being done by and to people of my own race, often upon one another, I feel compelled to address the specific issues that have created this problem. Not many thinkers or therapists have taken this on. And the lack of research into African-American trauma in particular has further alienated an already alienated group of people. Those who need help the most are least able to get it. I see the need for culturally relevant solutions, not solutions designed to erase people's blackness, but solutions that take race and history carefully into account. Current approaches aren't sensitive <coughs> to African American culture, and they are woefully inadequate. No discussion of African American trauma could be considered complete unless it addresses the role of slavery. When I bring up this point in a room full of white faces, I can see their expressions change from receptive to dubious, so let me explain. I don't bring up the idea that slavery continues to harm modern African Americans in order to make arguments for reparations or to excuse any of the behaviors that are preventing us from moving forward as a people. I bring it up because cultural trauma is as real as individual trauma and because we can't deal with individual trauma without addressing the bigger picture. Historical traumas perpetuate themselves through generations. The factors that create violent children are more often than not the factors that create violent adults. These adults go into the world and have more children and the pain they've packed down from their own childhood causes them to do the same damage to their children, their lovers, their communities. Slavery, like the Holocaust, is not that far behind us. <coughs> only one or two or three generations. And to presume that these atrocities don't affect those who are descended from their victims or from those who were at risk of being victimized because of their race okay. is just plain wrong. Oh, My belief is that psychological <coughs> trauma in the African American community is not an issue only for therapists or for those who make laws and make and enforce public policy. It is an issue for anyone who wants to help facilitate a movement away from violence and toward a peaceful, cohesive world where children are safe from harm. The words of Dr. Denise Hicks Ray, the text entitled, The Pain Didn't Start Here, trauma and violence in the African-American community. It's what I'm reading. It's what you read. Blow me up, 404-892-2703, and let's chop it up. It is a what it do, what you reading Wednesday, and when we return, we will contextualize our conversation for the day so you... Holla at